Oh uh, no, what are we doing today? Stancy things. <laughs> All right. Like the washers? You got the adapter plates. And is that, is there two washers? Two washers, sure. It's like five mil. Oh man. Let's see if the 20 is gonna work. All right, I pick it up. There we go. Right. Clearance life? Well, not bolted in. Almost fit a finger behind it now. Should probably be pretty good though. Uh, bolt it, bolt it down. Let's like, see how much it wants to poke. I realize that my rotor horns poke the buckle at ride height, so I shouldn't really be concerned about that. Okay, so basically what we're doing right now is uh, retest fitting the OZ wheels because George wanted to sell them because they wouldn't clear his sway bar on his car. But um, no one is offering uh, trades nearby, so we're going to have to kind of deal. Trading wheels? Here, you, here get, I'll give you a plug, dude. Yo, give me some RSs, some RFs, some CCWs, anything, as long as it's not one piece. There you go. But uh, yeah, so if you want to trade George wheels, comment below. Uh, he's got these uh, pretty rare uh, OZ wheels. So OZ Pegasus, what are they, 17 by 10, basically? Yeah, all around. All around. Offsets are way too high, and that's why. They're ready to be rebuilt with big lips, but I don't have the money. And you might. So buy my wheels. <laughs> 2200 Yeah, 2200 cash if you really want them. There you go. Actually, or, or offer trades. Or offer trades. Tires, 2400 Alright, fine. Alright, yeah, so basically he had to order tires for these wheels, <laughs> which was uh, an interesting issue. Basically, discount tire wouldn't sell him 215 wide tires because the car is a GTI and those come with 225 stock. So apparently that's unsafe, even though these are clearly uh, aftermarket wheels that we're putting on the car. So I don't know Why anyway. Three inches wider than stock. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I guess by that logic, they were technically. He, he said, he said, I know you Volkswagen guys like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro. And I was like, well, will you sell me 205 45s? Because it's literally the same size when you stretch it. And he goes, that's worse. I'm like, the sidewall is bigger. He goes, I'll sell you two, two 25 40s. I'm like, nah. That's good. <laughs> I reordered through that 20 minutes later. <laughs> on eBay, mind you. Yo, they don't ask for what kind of car you have when you're buying on eBay. <laughs> well, I'll have these mounted Wednesday, hopefully. With the new tires? Well, I'll have the tires mounted. Ooh. Um, and then I'm gonna order adapters tonight. Dude, I'm really excited to see how this thing looks. We gotta do night shots of it by the river? Yeah, I gotta buy a bunch Can't of- Can't wait, dude. I gotta buy Sonax so and clean the fuck out of them. Wow, that's- All right, they're fitting on here pretty, uh, pretty minty. Looking good. All right, that's not bad. Actually, it'll fit better in the road for them, I'll tuck. You know, of course, because it's 17s, I'm going to hit my subframe before it goes any lower. Which means if I keep them, I'm getting a section subframe. Fuck it. Um, here we go. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so I took my driver's seat out of my car. This is back at my house. Uh, I left George's, but um, you can see it's a mess. But why am I doing this? This seat has like terrible, terrible, like the, I can feel the springs in it and you can't really see in there, but literally the foam has broken through all of like the metal springing. And so yeah, it's really not doing anything at all for me anymore. So I'm gonna try and replace that little flimsy pad with this fat piece of foam that I found in uh, my garage. I'm just gonna cut it up and stick it inside. Well, hopefully that will work. Um, yeah, that thing is a mess. You can kind of see, yeah, there you, go. you can see that one cutout right there for the, that's every little wire spring has broken through the foam. So this thing needs to be uh, reupholstered bad. Okay, here's one piece of it. You can see the springs basically broke through at almost every point possible. I gotta get the top piece out now, it's straight up, just ripped straight off. Okay, so I got most of the foam out. Um, let's see, the wires right there. This stuff up here doesn't wanna come out, but that's okay, there isn't too much spring stuff up here anyway, and it's like actually pretty in decent shape. 
down here was really starting to feel it in my back and it was actually starting to hurt. So I'm just gonna try and put that piece of foam into the uh, seat now. Okay, hold, it's a little flimsy thing. New, that's about an inch thick pad of foam. It actually went in pretty easily. Um, basically what I did was just rip this one out and it gave me tons of room. I just went in here and was pulling the foam because all those little springs are in there. So it doesn't, it doesn't just go in freely. I had to kind of like wedge it in slowly and pull it up each level of springs until it was eventually in. I'm gonna test uh, sit this now and see how it uh, feels. All right, this car's dirty as shit. I'm gonna clean it out with this uh, dust buster that doesn't really work that well and it actually shoots a lot of stuff back out the filter side, but uh, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> That's basically good enough. Um, that dust buster, like right here, really sucks. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a shop back, but uh, I figure, you know, I'll do the best I can in the meantime just because uh, the seat's going over it anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfectly spotless. Um, I'll probably just clean it out another time. Um, I might take out that passenger seat, but um, that seat has perfect padding. It's like a mint shape. Um, I'm kind of jealous that that seat is the really nice one. Another thing is uh, the, this is the butt pad, but. Um, this right here doesn't really have much of a, a cushion, so this is this is your cushion. So um, it sits really, really deep. It's not it's not uncomfortable. It just sits the this padding sits much deeper than um, the passenger side does. The passenger side actually has a um, can't really see on the tape right here. Let me flip this over. Right there, it says uh, Mustang driver. The passenger one says passenger, and in parentheses after it, higher. So I think that seat actually has padding underneath here to um, raise up the seat a little bit. Um, I kind of like that, honestly, and it feels a lot comfier than this one does. So I might do that on this seat. Add just another one of those foam pads if I can find one into this seat. At this point, my microphone decided to cut out on me, but I basically demonstrated that the seat has a ton more padding than it did prior. You can see the fabric material has a ton of wear in it from where the springs were, uh, basically just poking straight through to the fabric. And at this point, I sat in the seat and essentially raved about how amazing the seat was now by comparison to how it was prior. Um, it's really, really comfy now, and I absolutely love it. Right here you can see the mounting points for the back side of the seat. There's brackets that actually screw down along with the bolt that attaches the seat. I believe those are for racing harness setups. Um, so yeah, I was just demonstrating right here that um, I just tightened those down and I was showing them off. Then I slide the seat back and I show the one bolt in the front was giving me trouble. Pretty sure I ended up re-threading the uh, hole for that screw, but uh, not really too big a deal. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys um, the seat procedure for um, that I kind of just made up on the fly of uh, repadding a Corbo Forza seat. Um, I do really like these seats. Um, the, like I said, the passenger one has fared far better than my driver one. Um, whoever owned this car before me uh, definitely did not take very good care of it, and um, it's showing everywhere. So, uh, especially these seats, they're pretty much just destroyed. So. Um, anyway, if you have Corbo Forces and they're destroyed, uh, just do that. The padding in them seems like it really sucks and it's brittle, so put some fresh one inch thick foam in there and you'll be good to go. Um, I even added a little bit of extra for the part where I'm sitting right now, just to uh, raise me up a tiny bit and give me some extra padding and it feels ten times more comfortable already sitting here. Uh, I can tell my back is not going to be uh, sore at all after driving it. but. Um, yeah, these seats aren't perfect still. The mounting sliders, like the sliders, um, there's a piece missing, so they kind of creak a little bit and rock, but other than that, they're, they've are they been pretty good to me, and now I can't wait to drive this car with the new padding in it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, uh, comment if it helped you out or what you thought of the video. That really helps me out as well. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. It really will be uh, awesome if you could do that because I have some epic videos coming in the future. And uh, yeah, that about concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Take care.
Remember